My name is Evan Hassel, and today I was going to show you my Minecraft TARDIS. Um, it's relatively fully functional, um, but uh, this is basically what the best part is right here. It's bigger on the inside using command blocks and teleporters. Um, it can't move in the coordinate plane because I don't want to set up a uh, system where I can move different TARDISes and make them uh, disappear and all that. Um, but what I have done is I've given some basic commands. I can change my mode to survival, creative, I can change the weather from rainy to clear. Here, one second, rainy. Here you go. Uh, let's uh, clear weather. Just to demonstrate. Yeah. I know that the TARDIS can't do that, but it was what I thought could fill in the gap in the console. Uh, take off. One sec. Yeah, there. And it's got the little sound effects in the uh, speech bar. And in order to land, you just click it, it cancels that out. I'll show you the redstone for that later. Um, cloister bell, the little paradox alarm, some people call it. I've got that going. It's actually on the same redstone clock as the like the vroom sound. Um, so it'll go at the same interval. Uh, basically mocking the time zone and time shifting, I decided to uh, do daytime and nighttime. So if I go outside now, it should be what would happen if you were to say time set night. Um, time set day would do the exact opposite. I accidentally screwed up on this one. It was supposed to be planet, but what ended up happening is I broke it and then I didn't want to go through the trouble of reprogramming it. So I just made a random sign. because. Uh, it said planet, you'd be you wouldn't be able to click it, and it wouldn't say that. So I decided to come up with some BS thing. Um, what else is here? Oh, look. along the edges, I have some decorations using Minecraft player head commands. Um, I think this is sort of like the Paldi's TARDIS with a little bit of Matt Smith mixed in. Um, oh yeah, I've got these command blocks in here. I used them when I was building it for the signs. Um, yeah, down here you've got more bookshelves, but one sec, I actually haven't been down here in a bit. Ah, uh, here, it's to the right of that. Um, this is where you go in to edit things. Um, so basically, constantly down here, we've got this redstone clock going. That's what uh, says or changes the um, or puts the cloister bell in. Um, so what ends up happening is I have this redstone feed go out here. When it when I say take off, what ends up happening is this is filled with block. So if I fill that there, the redstone signal will continue around. And if you look up up there, that's changing. Uh, that's because each and oh, each and every one of these has a different uh, command, different color. Um, one through ten, I think it is. Actually, one through nine. And then this command block says say or whatever. That's what makes like the engine sound or uh, river once said that it was the brakes on. I thought that was hilarious when I <clears throat> first watched it. Sorry if my voice is a little raspy, I'm laying down. Um, this is the cloister alarm, which ends up happening is I have the redstone feed out here and this block gets put in, so that's what turns on the cloister bell. If you turn it off, a block goes out of there, that's what turns it off. Um, up here, You've just got a little runaround on the inside of the 
bottom of the platform. I don't know why you'd ever want it, but uh, maybe for lighting? I don't, I don't know. I tried making it look um, acceptable level of lighting, uh, look like an acceptable level of lighting here, so that I know monsters won't spawn, but again, I have it on uh, highest brightness, so I don't know what it'll look like in Moody. But actually, another thing I uh, did is when you take off, if you stand back, you can see that those redstone lamps actually sort of animate the floor, the lighting. I, I really thought it was cool there. A while ago, I was... One second. Okay. A while ago, I was thinking about making these um, sea lanterns into redstone lamps that were on all of the time, but when you went into landing cycle, there would be a circuit that turned one off and then it, that one thing that was off would go um, in a circle and it would look like it was moving around kind of like in the TARDIS and uh, Peter Capaldi's Doctor um, Peter's TARDIS uh, 12 or whatever um, and yeah so this is really what I want to showcase today um, well, 7 out